Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I want to show incisions and rexes. This is the main incision. This is a mid limbal incision with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. This is 2% ASPMC. Let us see the incision in slow motion. Make a groove. Engage the tip of the keratome in the groove go forward for some distance and then go downward and enter into the anterior chamber and then use whatever viscoelastic substance you want to use in this case this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now after making the main incision you can and injecting viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber make these side ports these side ports should be two and a half to three clock hours away from the main incision in this case the incision on the left side of the main incision is about two clock hours away and the incision on the right side is about two and a half to three clock hours away and now the capsulorexis is done. In this case, it is being done with iterata forceps. Let us see these in slow motion. This is a side port. This side port should be mid limbal. Always make the incisions involving capillaries. If you involve the capillaries, healing will be very good and chances of infection are reduced if you make the incisions involving some capillaries and now see how the rexis is being done incise the capsule raise the flap now introduce the uterata and you lift the anterior leaf of the main incision keeping the anterior leaf lifted off you move the uterata all around and do this rexis remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated people and thus you will get a round rexis in this case this rexis is about 5 millimeter in diameter if you make rexis of this size the optic of the intraocular lens will be overlapped all around and centration of the intraocular lens will be very good this is another case this is the main incision first groove and gaze and then go downward let us see this in slow motion. By the edge of the keratome, we make this group on the posterior aspect of the limbus, involve some capillaries. And now engage the tip at the floor of this groove, go forward and then go downward. Don't make a very long tunnel and don't make a very short tunnel this is ideal and now you make the side ports these are not triplanar the incisions that you have seen the main incision is triplanar but the side ports are just one plane incision and in this case the capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble. Take care to touch upon all parts of the anterior capsule so that staining becomes uniform. Then wash the dye using Ringer lactate or PSS and then use whatever viscoelastic substance you want to use. In this case, this is 2% percent 
hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now this is a cut by the this is real time rexis I use a 26 case pen needle first to make the incision then use a uterta to complete the rexis let us see this rexis in slow motion introduce a 26 gauss bent needle cystitum go at the anterior pole make this incision and pull it and make this very nice flap which is very easy to hold now use a uterta forceps hold this tag go anti-clockwise all around it depends whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise according to your natural hand movement keep the anterior leap of the main incision lifted up and move all around remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and thus do a very nice rexus that's it thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills